G'day there, my name's Anna. Um, I'm originally from Australia. I now live in Prince Edward Island and I work as a climate change campaigner during the week and I'm also a big supporter of electoral reform. Uh, really important that I'm from Australia because one of the systems that is currently being pushed in Canada is the ranked ballot or the alternative vote, which is used to elect Australia's lower house. And I'm here to tell you why moving to that system is not such a great idea. So the Liberals are pushing this ranked ballot alternative vote system because it benefits them as a party, not because it benefits citizens. If in a ranked ballot system, what happens is, you know, party, a, a voter can individually choose and say, you know, number one party would be, uh, you know, maybe the Green Party or the NDP. And then my third option would be the Liberals and then you know, the Conservatives below, just for an example of, you know, maybe a a progressive voter that's currently marginalized in the current system. And what happens in the ranked ballot system that Del Duca loves is they just say, oh, you know what, those first two votes of yours, those ones that you most prefer, we're going to ignore them. And we're just going to choose one of the parties that has a chance of being the winner who takes all in this writing. And so it has the effect of making voters feel better when they cast their ballots because they can sort of be more honest but the overall effect at the end is exactly the same as the current system with strategic voting because they just ignore you know those first preferences and second preferences for maybe smaller parties and it again coalesces to this winner-take-all battle between just two parties so it, it really is very polarizing and it means that some voters will have their first preference votes count if you vote for say the liberals or conservatives and they're the two main parties in your writing and other voters um, will just have their votes, their first preference votes ignored entirely. Some voters only have their third or fourth preference votes actually count. But it gives this illusion of more choice, um, which and it gives this sort of sense that maybe we fulfilled that promise of changing the electoral system. But really, that's just a facade. And that's one of the reasons why um, Del Duca is pushing it so hard at the moment.